What's up guys, Pocket here and in this video I'm gonna show you how to downgrade iOS 9 beta 1 to iOS 8.3 So let's get started So iOS 9 are announced by Apple um, a while ago and it came with lots of fit of new features and also the new the new design layout and the reason that I don't have the iOS 9 beta on my iPad is because I had internet issues and I could download the uh, the beta. But now it's okay, I have fixed it and I don't have time to download right now because I need to do the video. And yes, and yep, so let's get started. So what actually you need is of course an Apple device and of course a computer but you need an Apple device with iOS 9 beta in order to downgrade back so uh, let's go on the computer to show you how to do it so the first thing you need to do is to plug in your Apple device to your computer and connect it to iTunes and and then you need to do a quick backup of your Apple device but if you have already done it with iOS 8.3 it's not necessary to do right to do that right now because when you downgrade to iOS 7.3, you might won't be able to restore your your backup that you did just now on iOS 9 beta. So, so yep, that was the for the backups. And now I'm gonna show you how to download the firmware. So simply go on your app on your browser, web browser, and go on this website where it's called ipsuw.me. Link in the description, of course. And what you need to do right here is to select a device. And from this, from this my case, I have the iPad Mini, the Wi-Fi version. And then I'm gonna select the uh, iOS version that I, that I'm gonna do downgrade with. And as you can see here, the iOS 8.3 is green, and that means I can restore with it with iTunes. So I selected the iOS version, and now I'm ready to, to download it. So, after you have downloaded the file, keep holding all if you have Mac and keep hold or keep holding Shift if you have Windows or Control. I remember the button. But so anyway, keep holding the button that you that all depends on your operating system and hit restore. And from here, you can find or hit search in order to search your find your finger. So this is a firmware that I'm going to restore with, I'm going to hit open and I'm going to hit restore. So another method to do this is to enter your Apple device to DFU mode. So to do this you need to keep holding the power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds and then release the home button and keep holding again keep holding the uh, power button for 7 seconds so do not do not release the power the power button only release the home button after the 10 uh, seconds have passed then you will see a message on your uh, computer that says that your app device or whatever it is Apple iPhone or whatever it is has entered on recovery mode or actually is the DFP mode hit ok and then it will ask you to restore your app device and then keep calling keep calling the alt or the shift or depends on your operating system again on mac the alt the windows is the shift and then hit the, the, the restore and then select the firmware and then you are done your app device will be restored back to ios 8.3 then you will have the option to restore your previous backup that you did on your Apple device just hit restore backup and and wherever you have your backup if it's in iCloud hit iCloud and if you have iTunes hit the iTunes and then uh, all your data will be restored so I forgot to tell you that this downgrade method will release will delete sorry all of your data from your app device so that's why I, I have asked you to do the backup so that was the video for today guys I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel to watch my latest version tutorials and also 
follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page, links in the description of course, to watch my latest activity and my latest uploads. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you next time.